Hi, we are Rob and Ali sharing with you our passion of all things cruise and ooh, <laughs> cruise and travel. Today is cruise day. Woohoo! Although it's a Wednesday. So it's Cruise Day Wednesday. Cruise Day Wednesday. We are off now to the Brisbane International Cruise Terminal to join the <laughs> P&O Pacific Encounter for our 10 day trip to Papua New Guinea. Oh my God, oh, we are so excited. <laughs> the perspiration, the beads <laughs> of <laughs> All excitement. Right. We're going, we'll see you there. Bye. Right, well, I've just dropped Al off with the cases because um, we had way too many again to sort of wheel them from the car park. I've parked the car in P2. This is how far away we are from the terminal. Just a few minutes. There's the Pacific Encounter. So uh, the terminal's just over here, you can see. I'll go and meet her and we'll check the cases in and go through the uh, boarding process. Okay, so I've come down from the car park Met Al, here she is. Hello. She stayed here with the luggage. I had to mind the luggage. Yeah, and we're gonna put the luggage in. We have packed light, not as we normally do. Just have a look at this, guys. Just have a look and see what we're taking on our 10-day cruise. Ridiculous. If you want to see what luggage we take, we've done another video on that. But we're gonna put it into the check-in now and, and go through uh, security and everything yep. and get on board, ready for some lunch. So, uh, Oh, I am starving. I'm starving yes, okay, let's go wait. then, let's go. There's a huge queue here for the check-in um, and we're in this queue. It's going like all the way back here. Now we've ordered some currency through Crown Currency at Astley. They bring the currency down to the uh, International Cruise Terminal and you, uh, you can pick it up here. So I'm gonna go now and pick up our currency while Al's waiting in the line. And here they are. So they're set up at the downstairs of the terminal so you don't need to stand in the line. It's Crown Currency and they should have our cash here. Well, that was easy. There they were, little envelope with my name on, with our currency in there. Q, Q, quick, quick, Q. I find that there is nothing sadder than actually being in queues when I want to enjoy my holiday. However, that seems to be all part and parcel of the experience. We are here at the Brisbane Cruise Terminal. Now, let me just give you, <laughs> we're actually, you know those little zigzag queues they have at Fun Furs and uh, things like Disney World? That's what we're in. So we're going round and round and round and round and round. Um, now there are two queues here. Let's give you a quick tip. There's a queue for your baggage drop. That's where you want to put your baggage in, your big cases that will go straight to your cabin. You won't see them again until you get back on board. Oh, so sorry. keep any of your valuables, like your handbag or your wheelie bag. Where's my wheelie bag? Robert's got my wheelie bag. <laughs> With with your valuables and your tablets and things in and maybe your cameras and stuff like that that you want to take. Then you will have to join the queue that this is the one that's moving pretty fast at the moment. Um, and this is the one that will then take you to the desk to check in and then onto security. So you can see it's moving pretty quickly, um, which is good. You will have a time on your ticket that you uh, can check in. They will turn you away if you try to queue jump. So if your time says one o'clock and it's only 12 o'clock, they will turn you away and ask you to wait. Um, actually, just wait outside, find a seat and wait until it's one o'clock. See you when we get inside. Okay, so we are now inside the terminal building. We're on the escalator. We're going up to the check-in. Here we go. And it's not too many people sitting down today, but it is a lovely day. It's perfect. Every day is a great day for cruising. Departures and check-in. Right, let's see what the queue's like in here. Sometimes this can be quite long, sometimes we go straight through. So the lovely lady that was directing us from the Travelator to come to the queue here said to me, oh, I can see you're in the travel mood. And it was because actually I'd left Robert with all the cases while I just walked on with my handbag. And I went, I said, yes, just get my husband to do everything for me. And she went, no, the shirts, because we're in our matching shirts. So a, I misunderstood. <laughs> we managed, don't know how we did this, we managed to get priority boarding, but I don't think the queue's any shorter. I think, I think okay. they, there was a problem and lots of people got priority boarding and I saw this morning that some people's priority boarding had disappeared. So 
I don't know, it's, it doesn't really matter, we'll get on the ship anyway, but here's the queues, there's quite a few people lined up, it's quite a long queue this morning here at the cruise terminal. For past experience it goes through fairly quickly so the ship's not going to go without us now we're here, so uh, we'll just queue in line. We are almost at the front of the queue now, not sure how long that's taken, maybe 15 minutes or so, it wasn't actually, it did move fairly quickly, yeah, almost at the front, so we're in the priority queue and they've got uh, down here they've got six priority desks and then they've got all the other standard check-ins. So it, I'm not really sure whether we've got any quicker as priority than non-priority, but like I said, we'll get on the ship anyway. Okay, so we have now completed check-in, everything was in order. We've now got our, um, we've now got our cruise cards. They give you, you they've changed the system. You get them here when you check in, which means you can go straight to your cabin. She did say 1.30, but um, it's almost 1.30 now anyway. So uh, you get them here uh, now, just like you used to. So we're now gonna go through security. We can't take you through security as usual. Um, so we'll see you on the other side. We have successfully made it through check-in, security and passport. <laughs> yes, we're now on the walkway, heading down towards the ship to get on board the ship. I've got to say that was actually a lot longer than I think it's ever taken as it's, uh, it's taken us about uh, one and a half hours from arriving to getting to this point um, which was painful, um, yeah actually. it was a lot of queuing a lot of walking around the problem is now it's nearly two o'clock um, the ship's supposed to leave at three so we've got to sort of dash around get something to eat but uh, hey start of a cruise so yeah, yeah, not, not complaining. Yeah, chill. <laughs> Actually, the one saving grace in there was they did have the air conditioning and the fans on. Mm. Other times we've been asked to queue. It, oh, it's been sweltering. Yeah. So it was quite pleasant for a very Whoa, long time. Somebody dropped something there. I think they're still <laughs> loading up the ship. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Get on. So here we are. We are about to step on board the beautiful Piano Pacific Encounter. <laughs> here we go. <sighs> Holiday starts now. Oh, it is good to be back on board ship. Oh, announcement coming up. Hello everyone. We still have quite a few people who still need to visit their muster stations. If you haven't checked in at your station yet, it only takes a minute. Teammates are available throughout the ship to help you find your way. You are not required to bring your life jacket. And we just got on board, so we better go there right now. Thank you. Where did we go for the muster? For B. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Should we just do this muster station? Yeah, get the muster station the first way. and get it out of the way. So we're going to go to the muster station first, then that's out of the way given the time, and uh, then we'll go off to the cabin. So here we are at our cabin 8327. 8327 which is an ocean view cabin. So we'll take a look inside and we'll do a tour of that. Yes, let's have a look. But uh, our luggage is already here, um, which is not surprising seeing as it took us a little while to get on, to be honest with you. We're a little so, bit out of breath because the queues at the yeah. lifts were walked, enormous and we thought we're just not queuing up any longer. So we- Walked up the stairs with our carry on. <laughs> right. All right, let's get ready. Let's put the key in and have a look. Okay, so we are in the pantry. It's the first day first meal it's a beautiful day Al's here with what did you get today well do you know I thought the queues were going to be horrendous because it was so slow getting on board and I thought everybody's just going to be queuing up for food actually it wasn't bad at all and you didn't have to queue up to get any of this food my favorite is to always get Indian when I first come on board a ship that's my, my meal that I always go for so I have dal I have tomato rice I have my Papa John's. Hey, lovely. I've got everything here and That's all the- That's bread, I think. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I have all the uh, the little accompaniments to go with it. It's absolutely, and it's gorgeous. I've tried it. Nice and spicy. Mm. And of course, washed down with a beer. Whatever. Well, I went to the house, having a look around. I got to the Asian station, met the guy called uh, Jan behind the bar. I think it's sort of behind the, the counter there, sorry, Jan. Um, who said he watches all our videos. So big shout out to Jan. We'll catch up with him hopefully later on the cruise. But while I was there, I thought I'd get some sticky pork, some uh, stir fried chicken and rice. And asked the fish and chip guy to throw a few chips on as well. So uh, let's tuck in before sail away. Let's kick this sailing party off with a bit of the nut wash. DJ resting, 
I want to see you all dancing away. We all know the words. We all know the moves. Here we are at the Sail Away party, leaving Brisbane for Papua New Guinea. It is going to be a fantastic cruise. Music started, the dancing started, and we've got some drinks. <laughs> Right, well, we are now unpacked. Um, actually, we'll do a video on that because it's amazing where we've managed to put everything in this cabin um, and everything has a place and, and all the cases out of the way. We'll do a, do, we'll do a video on that. Um, but I've been to, we couldn't get the app to work and you're supposed to be able to book your dining reservations on the app. So I went down, there was like a huge queue, it took ages and ages and ages to book. Um, you can book the whole cruise and I think that's what people were doing. We just booked the next couple of nights. Um, and then we're coming back up in the lift and I was talking to the, some people in there and they said, oh yeah, we just booked on the app. So I, uh, so I got back to the cabin and I tried the app again and it worked because it saved all that time. So if you're watching this and if you're on the PO in Pacific Encounter and you don't get the app to work, tr either try it again or go and see the guys at guest services and get them to work it because it, it, I looked at it and we could book the whole cruise on the app, pick your time, everything, so safe waiting in line. <sighs> So this is my idea for drying my hair quickly while it's actually got little curlers in it to keep it curly. Cruise hack. And this is the rubbish <laughs> hair dryer that we've got. You can buy these special ones that do this, but this is just me. Hang on, so I need to go underneath like that. If you had a blue one, you could make pass off as Marge Simpson. <laughs> there. And it goes all underneath the hat. It dries off all the hair. So this is our first night and we've come to have dinner in the Waterfront, Waterfront restaurant. So we haven't had, we haven't, uh, we've ordered, but we haven't eaten anything yet. But just our initial thoughts about this restaurant. It's beautifully appointed, it's very nice. There aren't dark spots. The, the spotlights in the sink, there aren't the dark areas. Where we seem to be in a little bit of a, a dimmer area, which is fine. We still see our food and see each other, it's okay. Um, I'd say it seems to have a lot of background noise. That's just people talking. It is busy and it is full. And the stations that are around. You can see behind you, there are a couple of stations behind you. And there's one behind me as well. Where and they... So you can hear all the clatter of the dishes and things. We're okay with this. Just, you know, it, it's not too bad for us. If you have children with uh, perhaps with special needs um, or young adults with um, sort of autism that might have that sensory overload, I would suggest this is a little bit noisy. What we might do is we might have a word and see if there are some quieter areas that we can maybe suggest. And then if we do find out anything, we'll, we'll put it in another yeah. video or later on in this video just to. Uh, because if there's quieter areas, you might want to ask for, for those sort of areas. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And your wine has just come. Oh, lovely. Okay, well, we have had a beautiful meal in the Waterfront restaurant tonight. It was fantastic. Uh, Ali had a couple of starters. She had the spring rolls and the minestrone soup, and then she had the crumb crab cake for her main course, which was on the starters. Um, she didn't want to too much to eat. Uh, I had the crumbed uh, salmon cake. Sorry, salmon cake, not crab cake. Crumbed salmon cake um, for, uh, for an entree, and then uh, steak and mushroom pie that was like so absolutely chock full of chunky steak and a cherry trifle mixed fruit and um, cherry trifle for dessert it was a beautiful meal served by AJ who really looked after us nice glass of wine it was great we are ah, it's our first day and we're just uh, crossing over into the channel and it's it's sometimes a little bit rocky it's a little bit rocky for Ali tonight so uh, she's not feeling the best she's taking some travel sickness pills so I'm sure she'll be absolutely fine tomorrow um, and we'll probably call it a, uh, a night for tonight. First night, it's been a very busy day, first night, and we can maybe uh, 
have a look and do a bit of partying tomorrow night. So uh, anyway, that's it for today. If you've liked our video, please hit like, please hit subscribe, please hit the notification button if you want to see more of them. And um, that was our embarkation day. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it and bye for now. We'll see you in the next one.